Good morning. Today we're making a dental molding. It's part of a three-stage crown. This is the dental piece that goes in here. And when I cut the dental molding, I like to put a, uh, a slope in it. A slope in it so that it matches the crown molding. So you see how this is sloped here? And that, that helps to, that complements the slope of the crown molding. So it makes a nice dental mold. So I've devised this jig that helps me do that. There's a couple of key components to the jig. One is just a simple router bit. Here, three quarter inch straight bit comes through the jig. This here is a, uh, a rail that everything runs on and this simply just screws to the uh, router table. Okay, then this part here, this is the slide and it has a channel that receives the rail and then the bit comes in through here. A couple of things that's very nice about this setup is with the uh, workpiece in place you can see that the bit does not come out through the back so it's very safe this way and it doesn't plunge out through the front so it's very safe that way. So when the workpiece comes in you start the work by placing it against the index pin here and I'm able to move that to change the sizes of the dentals I want. Okay. So I have, I put it here, and then I clamp this down. Well, the problem is, is that as the bit uh, comes through right here, it would blow off this sharp little corner. So you have to have a backer block that backs that up, and then it doesn't chip. And I've already proceeded along a ways down this stick. And you can see you just do it three inches at a time, and it comes along. So now it's in like that, and then I just look at my backer block, and I and I clamp it down and that, that holds the piece firmly in the jig. Now I'll turn on the dust collector and hearing protection. It's going to get real loud here but I want you to notice a couple things. As the cut's made, uh, all the chips come out of the jig and right into the dust collector and go away. So it's very nice. Usually something like this would be very messy but that's what makes this able to work is that the chips are all removed. So as you can see, it's a pretty noisy process, and each time, these last three that we just cut, see they're nice, they're nice clean cuts in the back. This is the back of the workpiece, and this is Bubinga, so it's very, very hard. Uh, but here's the face of them, and then the uh, piece of crown molding. The piece of crown molding will go up from here. So you can see that this slope of the dental complements the crown molding nicely. So this, this uh, piece has just been roughly cut. Now we'll sand this surface and we'll joint or sand this surface and we'll end up with some very clean dentals. Um, a couple things to notice. If, if you did not use a, a new space each time on the backing block, then it would chip away. So, so that's one of the things that's uh, a little bit time consuming going through it, but it makes for a... Uh, it makes for a nice clean dental, so, so that's uh, Dental Blocks 101. It's still on, but it's not stopped. Yeah,